can't walk under. You could fall at any point. Yeah, that looks a little bad. Yeah, it's, it's a little empty. I might be the only one in here. At least they got a they got an herb section. Incredible. Erikalakalala's beautiful woman. I'm probably recording too much of the architecture around here. It's just so incredible. Comes as a surprise. This is called uh, Butte Silver Bulb Public Archives, and they got quotes. The town grew on the side of the hill, and it was Butte all at once out of a copper womb. Butte people measure their wealth and the richness of their culture. A Butte woman. <laughs> Just a Butte woman. Silver bow was rugged and harsh, but it had a certain unpremeditated beauty. Always fought with you in the heart and this raw American mining camp. Butte for mercurial, the wicked, wealthy, hospitable. Full-blooded little city welcomed me with wild enthusiasm the most disorderly kind Theodore Roosevelt it must have been when he was running Now don't forget Lizzie when you get to the new world don't stop in America you go straight to Butte Oh Okay This has got the archives Public archives I've never seen a public archives building They must have so much Can't really see anything Is it free though? Archives building built in 2010. I'm sure the park was as well. So they're trying to look old and a part of the the uh, the theme. Never seen. A, I've never seen a warning before that the sign is wired. I don't see how it's wired. It's just chained. This ruin appearance looks like it was done on purpose. Historic. Union Hall. So this is the last wall of the Union Hall. <laughs> oh, this is something they built. And maybe it stood right here. They got other signage. Once again at the historical records, Union Factions and Strife. Of course they barred the Chinese. <laughs> they barred Chinese in every city. I'll have to come back and read it in its entirety. Okay, here's a dude. Alrighty, martial law. Alright. Alright, I don't know what to think of this. Is this a house? <laughs> this place makes it look like it's... It's a house. I think somebody might be living here. It's got all this... I'm thinking it's a house, but they just want to confuse people. This is the courthouse just up the hill from the city. Imagine these workers marching up and down the streets. I'm sure they didn't go up and down the streets. They probably went more like sideways. Because that's a... It's a this, this hill is something. Alright, an old time church. And they got a history sign to just talk about the exciting world of the church. Burned. The church burned. That's not a good sign. So this is it right here. It's all wooden. Well, it's not wooden on the top now. Alright, so this is the first copper mine. There's a bunch of people hanging out around it. Let me get out of the sun here. The original, only 43. I don't understand, they got a gate. 
There's people all parked up there. Let me get out of the sun. It's like it's some kind of family event over there. I'm not about to walk up on them. It doesn't say private property or anything. And there might be more signs to read. The family decided to have a picnic at the mine. All right, this is Main Street. There's a there's a sign explaining this one. This one is full of a black tar. I understand that they have grease that like spurts out everywhere when they work. Most productive. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it's pretty old. Somebody special owns this. The BSB. Butte Silver Bowl. Huh. Well, I, I guess I... Uh, there's really nothing to zoom up on. Alright, just climbing the hill. Uh, there's one up further, but it's further off of the road. I don't know if I can get there. Something... A mile high, it says. So there's a walk trail that goes to one of them. It goes underneath that way somewhere. This one up, way over there says a mile high, a mile deep. Wow, these are pretty. This bridge goes over another walk trail. It's probably an old train tracks. There's a whole other village up on top of this hill. They built right at the top, probably because of workers moving in to work on that mine. Coal and wood. I can see the building being old, but I don't know about the painting. Freeze-proof water in Montana. And if people didn't couldn't afford the single family, they would have like duplexes. And we got a message. Gearing up for an exciting three day. Wow. They put it right on their door and nobody came to, to grab it because nobody even lives here. You don't ever do that. Yeah. Right, so this is the Anaconda Road, Copper Road, or Wyoming. this is Wyoming Road right here, he's on Copper Road driving, and this is Anaconda where it's where they go to work. I guess I could walk up there, but it's getting too dark for me now. What? Super Fun Division? Department of Weed Control? Yeah, it would be interesting to go up there. Yeah, the workers may not have made a lot, but they certainly got a lot built around here for things to do and to blow their, their meager earnings. And here they are dragging the guy. made some kind of a mural and talked about it and this is it looks kind of hastily made this, this is just artwork all right five all right so I'm guessing that this building number nine was a, a homeless shelter Use this as a homeless shelter for the winter time. It's closed. 
There's quite a few of these big old buildings that are just not being used for anything. They could just stand and they got a hiss. This one's got a history. Cover all the windows. The old Tuttle building. Yeah. Next to the abandoned building is another abandoned building. Just amazing. Is this being used for anything? You could look at all this, all this, uh, yeah, that building's probably not being used over there either. It might be an extension. You could look at all this, all this mass, but a lot of it's not being used. That old man does not like the hill. This whole time I've been walking around the downtown area, I haven't seen like a single public bathroom. So I don't know how that works. I'm guessing you just have to bring your own jug. Mm. Alright, right, first of all, it's very bothersome when I have a tailgater right on me, right behind me. And then suddenly they start dropping back. And then I noticed that the uh, speed limits dropped, but I, did, you know, I didn't, I didn't realize until the until the tailgater starts falling back behind me. It's like, you know, he's like on me. He's like, hey man, why don't you get moving? Hurry up! And then all of a sudden he's like, whoa, you're going too fast. And it's like, Jesus, the, the psychology on the road is just incredible. And then also, I kept hearing this popping and. And in the front and then uh, a clipping in the back and I, I just now realize this because I had my back windshield wiper on it can't move because the bicycle rack is in the way normally I would just hear the windshield wiper going back and forth I haven't I haven't like moved everything so I could uh, could reset but I'm still hitting the windshield wiper every so often an accidental on uh, like nudge that happens every so often and I'm now I just now realize that the popping that I hear in the dashboard and the, and then the clipping sound in the back is because I accidentally hit it again and so I I, re I had to put this arm thing in the proper position so it doesn't turn the thing on I, I don't think I really need to constantly adjust the the back windshield wiper so much as just uh, make sure that it stays off so I don't I'm not sending electrical signals back to it this is a public service announcement do not ever get a Walmart gift card because if that magnetic strip dies it just stops working it is a real hassle to deal with the process they have to go through the manual way <laughs> well once you sign on they nights they start you at 13 so. All right, well, I guess I can't help you with that then. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I see this as a seating area. Having a little bit of this honeydew lemon melon so far, it's, it's, my tongue is burning. What's the deal with this? It burns my tongue. Man, my, the tip of my tongue is, uh, it stings a little bit because of, Man, a honeydew melon really stings. That's it's this tastes far different than anything I've had before. What do you complain about the honeydew melon burning your your tongue? It's made by DFI. I don't understand why some WalMarts choose souvenir shops over a restaurant like McDonald's, but this one does. And you gotta assume that they know best. Maybe this city really is high on tourism and best to sell souvenirs. Alright, just a little peek at Three Forks.
community, there's a food bank. This one I'd get a quick look at. It's on 12 East Cedar Street. Got Date Street. Three Forks Video Shop. Here, you're a serious. Looks closed. Here's a food bank. So I missed it. Oh, okay. Here's the museum. Oh my god, and they're open right now. Maybe I'll see if they're, uh, if they're free. There's cactus on top. Gateway to the National Yellowstone. Alright, this is interesting. I don't know if I can get up to it. This house. Looks like it's a part of the Columbia Green. Hello. What? You saying that to me again? Yeah. Did you respond? Uh, would you mind signing the guest book when you come by this way? Appreciate it. All right. Never been in before? What do you mean, never? Never been here. All right. All right, even though this one is free, she asked, she told me that I need to keep my backpack by her desk and I don't trust her. I do not trust them holding on to my backpack. They said, and she, and she retorted that she don't trust uh, me with my backpack, so it, I'll just make it simple. I won't. I won't check it out. And who are these businesses and organizations to say that they're that they think it's like cops? Okay, cops think that they're the most trustworthy people on the planet, and that we should be trusting them and all that. It's it's along the same lines as these people who say, "Leave your backpack at the desk." A lot of grocery stores do that. It's regular stores, some. More grocery stores, rarely a museum. Okay, maybe it's a Montana thing, but they they're, they think they're like cops. They're like, oh well, I trust myself, and I'm supposed to trust you. No way. She may be a kindly looking old lady, but still, there are those types. Leave my backpack at the desk. It's not worth it. Let it be free.